Hello everyone, I am Angelica Balasuria, a master's student in Dr. Nicole Navrosky's Forensic Genetics Lab at the University of Toronto. What comes to mind when you think about forensic biology? Perhaps from all the police procedurals on TV, like CSI, Forensic Files, or NCIS, you think of DNA. Generating DNA profiles for human identification is, in fact, a critical component of forensic cases. These DNA profiles are produced through genotyping long stretches of DNA, known as short tandem repeats, or STRs. Genotyping STRs can allow us to identify the source of a sample's genetic information by analyzing alleles, or the repeat variations at a particular STR location. To provide weight for such an identification, DNA profiles require the generation of corresponding statistics, which estimate the rarity of that particular DNA profile within a given population. They are calculated using allele frequency data for various populations through extensive population studies, which are done by researchers like me. However, such large scale studies for Canadian populations are scarce and prior research only focuses on a few populations, leading to possibly unreliable allele frequencies when investigating other population groups in Canada. The objective of our research is to generate allele frequency data, as well as other data such as ancestry and phenotype for the following Canadian populations, European, East Asian, Oceanic, American, African, South Asian, and Southwest Asian. Our research is significant because the generation of these novel population statistics will have a significant impact for forensic cases by increasing the ability to better estimate the rarity of a DNA profile within any major population in Canada. Furthermore, STR testing for published population studies have historically been conducted using methods that provide only link-based allele data. As you can see on the top right-hand side of the slide, at this specific STR location, an allele 16 is called. Our research uses massive parallel sequencing, or MPS, a newer method of DNA analysis, which generates sequence-based allele data. Below, you can see through the use of MPS, we're able to distinguish between the two 16 alleles, one in blue and one in brown, because of the single nucleotide base difference of G versus A, as encircled in white. Now, with MPS, these two 16 alleles become distinct. This higher resolution data is significant, as it will allow to better distinguish between similar DNA profiles and better separate out crime scene samples with mixed DNA profiles. Furthermore, MPS can also generate ancestry and phenotype data, providing additional information for investigative purposes, such as missing person cases or disaster victim identification. Overall, our research will explore the unique genetic diversity and makeup of Canada's populations. With that, I would like to thank my supervisor, Dr. Nicole Navrosky, and my colleagues at the Navrosky Forensic Biology Research Lab. Thank you for your time and attention.